smile for the camera. Who's that there already? Hello. You give it a, t a title already, or mm. you don't give it a title? What is? What's the deal? What happens there? I don't know where to do that. Just shaping this up. Okay, can start. I'm going on the head. Tell them what you're making, Chef. Hold on, I'm gonna take this out of my ears. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Andre, as you, some of you already know, from a vegan Zootopia. Welcome to AVU Kitchen. So this will be our first time doing a cooking video ever. So um, I know it's long overdue, but you know good things come in time. So today I'll be making cheesy mashed potatoes. So you can see my potatoes and all the stuff here. And with the cheesy mashed potatoes, I'll be doing our chickpea tofu. I'll be doing a chickpea tofu tikka masala, which if you order from the restaurant, you'll know that one by now. Of course, I'll also be sharing a recipe, the um, ingredients underneath, once the video is up. So you'll be able to see what all the ingredient amounts are and so on. Alright, um, so ingredients. So we have roughly two pounds of potato here. There's some coconut milk. This is about one cup of coconut milk. Or cashew cheese. This is our spicy cashew cheese. Uh, there's some black pepper and some parsley. And that's for the potato. Um, and salt but you know the salt is per taste and of course I've already salted the water for the potato and then for the chickpea tofu of course we have a block of chickpea tofu here and the chickpea tofu guys it's our homemade version of tofu it's not actually tofu it's made from chickpeas and um, you know we just we, it's seasoned as well so yeah chickpea flour so the thing about tofu is that the thing about tofu is that um, well, aside from all the, the, you know, health cautions and so on about the, the tofu, which is, you know, soy and soy is from estrogens and that's a hormone and so on, um, or chickpea tofu, well, the, the regular tofu is normally, it tastes bland. It doesn't have any taste to it whatsoever. It needs a lot of help. I have had maybe, I've had it once back in the day and it was good, but then I've had it maybe... A few times before that and it was awful you know um so it needs a whole lot of help a whole lot of work so our chickpea tofu is already seasoned you know pre-seasoned so you don't have to do anything to it except just prepare it and we'll show you how to prepare it today um so along with the chickpea tofu we also have oh for the last the last thing for the mashed potato is some spring onion greens all right i'll be chopping that for you guys all right so for the chickpea tofu i have a half cup of coconut milk I have um, some tikka masala sauce and I'll include a recipe for the tikka masala sauce um, afterward again in the once the video is posted and then um, I have curry leaves right and then um, well this is for the the um, mashed potatoes so I'm gonna go ahead and add this I have some water boiling on the stove with some pink Himalayan salt in there so you want to salt your water when you're boiling your potatoes I'm just gonna add the, the garlic and I'm going to add the potato. So if you notice, the potato is um, cubed very small. And the reason is it allows it to boil faster. And if you notice, the cubes are roughly the same size. So you want to do that so the, the cooking time, it, it will get longer because, it, you know, you have to cook 
the smaller ones and then the larger ones are there, you know, the, the difference in sizes will cause you to have a longer cooking time. So I'm adding this to the water. Uh, one seasoning that I forgot about is cumin, which works very well with potato. So I'm going to be adding a little bit of cumin to the potato mix. Alright, so let me get started on the chickpea tofu. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the pot on the fire and add in some oil. So for the chickpea tofu, I'm going to cut it up into cubes and then um, shallow fry it before I, I um, finish it with the tikka masala sauce. So this is Eve coconut oil. Very amazing coconut oil, guys. It smells like coconut. You should really try it. You know, we love coconut oil. This is one of the only oils we use. Um, we use also olive, olive oil, oil and just like sunflower and so on and so forth. All right, um, so I'm gonna light up. So in the meantime, let me see, this is on. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up the chickpea tofu. And I, as I say, you just wanna cut it into squares. So let's go ahead and cut here, and then cut here, and then cut here. Oh guys, our anniversary was yesterday, you know, so, yep. Happy anniversary to us. <laughs> yeah, man. And of course, um, you would have seen that we did our brunch last week. And then, you know, after the brunch, we it was it was amazing, by the way. Thanks to all who came by. And if you even did a come by, but, you know, you, you sent us some love. We appreciate it. We received it and we appreciate it. And, um, you know, we took a week off afterwards just to get some rest. And it was very lovely. So we're back. Um, today is the second day of spring. And so, you know, we just decided, it's a season of renewal, so we decided to just, um, you know, launch, get started on our video series, which we plan to do for a while. Alright, so I'm cutting up the chickpea tofu, as you can see. It don't really look like wool you know, so like I'm here alone, <laughs> I'll eat it off today. She not, she not getting on you here. Thank you, Renee. Oh, Renee, sir? She says happy anniversary. Thank you, Renee. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Yeah, man. Alright. You know, we got married on the first day of spring, you know? Really to symbolize the energy with which you want our union to go, you know? Alright, so... Yeah, there we go. So, you know, if you have any questions, guys, you can ask in the meantime. I'll answer, you know, while I'm doing something monotonous, monotonous like cutting up chickpea tofu squares. Right. And the color of it is because, as I said, I've I've seasoned it. So when you if you purchase it from us, it comes seasoned. And um, the way I'm about to prepare it now is the recommended way to prepare it before you add any sauce or whatever the case may be. You know. All right. Um, I think this is fine. Mm -hmm. Hey. So the oil is hot, very hot. Um, so I'm just gonna turn it down and I'm just gonna add some pieces to the pot. I just wanna get some brown on both sides of the pot, of the um, chickpea tofu squares, um, or rectangles. Delcy Dels is asking, how did you make the chickpea tofu? Um, so we make it from chickpea flour and then um, we add some some uh, spices and so on. Like chickpea flour, there's coconut water in there and um, yeah, coconut water, sometimes we might put veg stock and everything is homemade. So the veg stock is homemade if we use that, the coconut milk, not coconut water, coconut milk. And uh, yeah, that's how we make it. Hope I answered the question. Alright. Yeah, and we have it for sale as well, as my um, sous chef slash partner pointed out. We do have it for sale. Alright, guys, so you can get a half pound or a one pound block of the chickpea tofu. Well, you need a fork? Um, yeah, give me, no, give me the ladle. There. Yeah. And give me a fork. Too. 
All right, so that's being done. Any other questions, guys? All right, so see it's browning. You can see that. So there it is. So I just want to get it brown. And it's very tasty. I'm not a mm -hmm. fan of tofu. As I say, it's very hard to make tofu nice. But this, it already has a flavor. All you have to do is just shallow fry it and put it in any sauce that you want to put it in. And of course, we'll be continuing our recipe cooking video series after this. So it won't stop here, guys. So we'll let you know what this, the schedule for that is going forward. Don't be shy. Any more questions? Any more questions? What's oh, the cost? Oh. For the chickpea tofu, just a moment. <laughs> In the meantime, I can tell you that um, if you didn't know already, we do have a restaurant service that we offer. We do lunch on Wednesdays and Fridays and we offer delivery in and around Montego Bay. We also have other products that we sell. You know, um, the, like the cashew cheese that I showed you at the start of the video. And, um, you know, those products are available on Mondays and Saturdays. And we deliver via Nutsford as well. So we deliver within Montego Bay to Bay West for those who want to get those products. But for the rest of the people around the island, we also send items via Nutsford. Um, yeah, so wherever you are, as long as there's a Nutsford there, you can get our stuff. Come in with the price, the um, the price for the chickpea tofu. Let me find it. Yeah. Um, for anybody just joining, tell them the name of the dish. All right. So again, for those just joining, it's uh, we're doing cheesy mashed potatoes using our cashew cheese, and cashew cheese doesn't have dairy, guys. It's um made from cashews. That's it. And um, we're doing our chickpea <coughs> tofu tikka masala as well, with our homemade tikka masala sauce. Ali Lloyd says, um, the way how I imagine having this, I think I can smell it. <laughs> That's great. You know, we, we aim to bring the whole experience across to everybody. So happy that you can smell it. Trying to find the price of the chickpea tofu. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, wellness interior design. So if you're interested, you can just send us a message. All right. The chickpea tofu is 1700 for the pound and 900 for half pound thank you chef someone said thank you chef no i said thank okay. you chef all right so i can't take this out now we don't want to burn it up you know yeah. we just want it to brown let me do thing so i'm gonna take out this and then put the rest in So you, it's up to you, you, know, you determine how brown you want it really. Um, Renee, the salt is uh, 1300 a pound and 700 for the half pound. Right, give me the rest please. Okay. So I'm um, just gonna go ahead and put we use Nutsford Korea for sending to other parishes. Usually it's six fifty, um, as long as the package doesn't go over what ten pounds, 10 right? Pounds, yeah. yeah. And then if you go over ten pounds, I think it's a thousand dollars. Yeah, somewhere there. Yeah. Alright, um, so I'll just go ahead and check on the potatoes. Normally, um, when you're boiling potatoes, especially if you cut up like this, it shouldn't take long to boil. Mm -hmm. um, let me get ready to cut. This? Yeah. So I'm just going to check on it. And I'll show you how to make a potato, your mashed potatoes really smooth, guys. Yay. Alright. Alright, so it's breaking apart. Let me just check. Come on. Almost finished and then with this with the um with the salt that I added to the pot because I salted it. 
the flavor is in there you know you don't want fresh mashed potatoes you want it a little bit salty and the pink salt is very healthy too guys mm. so for those of you who don't you know try to avoid salt give the pink salt a try you can even check out the um, the nutrients well the facts about pink salt do some research on your own um what we know is that it it has over 80 minerals in it whereas the normal table salt has just two or three mm -hmm. and that's why the normal table salt causes all those imbalances i mean we're salty people so if we you know we, we do just basic basic movements around the place we start to sweat and if that you taste the sweat funny. it's salty we're, we're salty, salty people yeah but we're people of salt so it's true <laughs> it's true we're, we and we have over 100 minerals in our body you know so the essence is we are salty people as i said every time every activity you do you lose those minerals so it is important to get the minerals yeah. right so the mm -hmm. um the pink salt has over 80 the table salt has like two or three if they add iodine to it and that's mm -hmm. why it causes all the imbalances <clears throat> so um, the pink salt is good not all salt is created equal yeah ali lois uh guess she has a similar experience to you with tofu yeah so she's never had a had any luck with tofu right that's what i say you have to know if we prepare it man i mean there are people out there who prepare it well but then the thing is about tofu as i said you know um soy the soy soy we don't think soy is a good thing i mean it, soy is made from estrogens and you know estrogen you're a woman you're a woman um so you know what estrogen is you know female hormone i just wonder what the effect of that is putting that that hormone into your body from external substances you know um i remember like if cancer is that's like rapid growth right these hormones what are they doing in your body you know so we just avoid it i mean there are conflicting reports out there but we are also aware that um a part of the agenda that's that's going on is that um since they can't control the internet control the information that we have access to what they do is they put out false stories as well so you'll find no matter what you look for out there you're going to always find there being a story where say if it good if, if a story said good you'll find story say it bad mm -hmm. you understand so a lot of the time too, you have to just go with your intuition as well not a lot of the time all the time trust your intuition hi larisha this tofu we actually make from scratch with chickpea flour mm -hmm. and um just a uh, random fact well not so random but they call chickpea flour is called besan in india just like a flex my knowledge of india you know india is one of our favorite cuisines well places and we love their cuisine mm -hmm. all right so this is about time this comes out i think the potato is finished now let me just give it one more check hey man is that finished okay. so i'm just going to take this out first before i turn it off All right, and uh, we try to keep the videos under 30 minutes, and I'm sure you'll agree that I'm pretty much <laughs> So, we're almost finished now, the potato is finished, um, you know, pre here we finished shallow frying it, allowing it to drain. All right, so that's that for that. Let me turn that off, and I'll set this aside so we can continue, and then the potato is finished. So I'm just gonna take it and strain it through the colander go over here i'll be back I this. or i guess you can come to right so i'm just straining it getting the water out as i promised i would show you how to get the potato very smooth guys mm -hmm. so this is the secret um, I'll come over here, yeah i'll come in i'll come in Light. so the secret is a strainer guys and you have something called a potato ricer we don't have that um, high-tech fancy equipment with us so we'll be just just be using a strainer so you just want to put the potato into the strainer let me get a spoon to um big spoon yeah man so you just want to put the potato into the strainer and just run it through and the reason i go through this trouble to do the potato like that guys is that the potato will have lumps. I mean, you can always use your potato masher, and we do have one. So here's a potato. This is what a potato masher looks like. So you can use a potato masher if you want. But the potato masher leaves the potato with lumps. When you when you um, run the potato through a strainer or a ricer, and I'll show you when I'm when I'm finished with this. 
So you can already see, see, look how, look how it comes out. Right, so it's gonna be very, very soft, soft and silky and smooth. So you have very creamy mashed potato when you finish. Alleloid is um, attesting to the strain um, yeah. method. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the backup. <laughs> and um, Delzy Dells, that I guess the golden color from the tofu is maybe from the turmeric? Yeah, the golden yeah. color is from the turmeric because um, the sun doesn't it's not white it's not white like normal look you know if you know chickpeas chickpeas are have a like like kind of off off yellow color a little bit they're mm -hmm. very light brown maybe so um chickpea flour is clo is like that color too so to have the yellow color it comes from the turmeric in it so a little bit of elbow grease guys <laughs> you know all right so let's let me put some more in and as I said, the effort is worth it. I am over. Okay. Do you have a store that opens daily? Um, yes, yeah, so not a store that opens daily. I mean, we do um, have food available up here, as you heard me say earlier. Or if you're just joining, I'm a respond a little. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're just joining, um, we do lunch on Wednesdays and Fridays and we del that's delivered around town and then throughout the week on, well, uh, only on Sundays, we're closed on Sundays but throughout the week you can stop by here we have food available, but it's done to order so you have to call and then we let you know what's available you let, you know if, let us know if you want it and it will normally take about an hour to prepare <laughs> that says now I'm hungry <laughs> well Grab some potatoes and do what I do. All right. And maybe if I did boil this a little bit more, it would just be yeah. a lot easier to. It's the very soft, you know. But yeah, you know, the you can, softer you boil it, yeah, the you easier it is. Yeah, you can boil it some more, right? All right. So there we go. We're almost done. So I'm gonna just get this off. Look at that. Come on. Of course, the garlic is there because I boiled the garlic, so the garlic will be will flavor the potatoes as well. We're in um, Rosevale, Spot Valley. Mm -hmm. That's um, up the hill from Hilton from Hotel. Hilton, yes. Right. When you get to Hilton Hotel, where um, Cinnamon Hill Golf Course is, you just turn up the hill at that stoplight. Once again, thanks to everybody who came out in support of the brunch. And again, even if you never come up by yourself with some love, we appreciate it. What's um, happening there? No, the Delsie says she doesn't have potatoes, or she would definitely, without a doubt, no hesitation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. All right, guys, you can um, you can let us know in the meantime, you know, what you'd like to see us make next. Yes. And we'll right. try to save the video. Yeah, man, not try to. The video will be saved, man. <laughs> Video will be saved. We are, we are planning to do real proper things now, guys. Bully for things that we have in the store, man. You know? you know? Even the brunch, we plan to do more brunches and make it a whole day kind of event type of thing, you know? Yeah, man. When are you coming, Jeffrika TV? Oh, greetings, Jeffrika TV. Big up on yourself. Yes. Big up Thank Jason you for coming to the brunch. Jason and Dina. They came to the brunch. You can um, follow them on well, Instagram, they're on Instagram yes. and they're also on YouTube. They have, they are YouTube on YouTube as well, a YouTube channel. Um, Jafrika, that's um, what J A H. J A H uh -huh. F R E E K A underscore T V. Right, and it's like a combination of Jamaica and Africa. Yeah. Yeah, man. So they did a very beautiful video from the brunch. So you can check them out on YouTube or maybe they have it up on the Instagram channel. I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> Can you confirm that, guys? Um, Larisha, the brownies are finished. I haven't made any again yet. They were delicious. But um, I don't I actually never get to take any pictures. So, but I mean, next time I'll make them. Cheesecake right. next, please. Cheesecake. <laughs> okay, that's one vote for cheesecake. Yeah. I see you guys have a sweet tooth. <laughs> Um, 
pass one of the plastic, the spatulas and rub out. Alright, right, so this is done. Mm. Yeah, that's finished. Let me just scoop off the rest of it. That's a smooth and creamy. Get everything. Cinnamon roll, so it's mostly dessert. So you guys are dessert <laughs> people, I see. Okay, so yeah, the video is both on YouTube and Instagram. Oh, great, great. So you can check them out on YouTube and Instagram, guys. All right, so look, so look at how smooth, smooth this is. See that? That's so smooth. Right, and again, as, as I say, you can get a potato rice or two. That works wonders. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna add, put this back on the heat. I'm turning it down low so the heat, the heat allows uh, more of the water to evaporate. Mm. Right. Lasagna. And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding. I don't need any more salt, so I won't be using any more salt for this. As I said, I seasoned the water, and if you want to know how much, um, for like maybe five cups of water, four or five cups you want to use, maybe a teaspoon or two of salt. Use one and taste it if it's how salty it is and then afterwards you can go again. Alright, so while this is drying out, let me go ahead and prepare um, my thumb. Let me just wash this knife off. Just a moment, guys. Lasagna. One vote for lasagna. Lasagna. Yeah. Delzy Delz wants your whole pot of mashed potatoes, Dre. Sure. <laughs> So what, what do we eat? What do we eat when you have all of our mashed potatoes? Mm. Come on, you have to leave something for us. Mm. All right, where is that? Uh, all right, so I'm just gonna, gonna sharpen it quickly. Uh, cloth. <clears throat> all right. And let's go ahead, go ahead and chop this up. And if you want us to do like a kitchen skills video, guys, just let us know, and we'll we'll um do one. I'll show you how for you to um use your knife properly, you know, for sharp your knife, etc., etc. So let us know if you want that. All right, so that's the that's the um scallion. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna add the co the um coconut milk to the pot. Come on. Let me come around. Mm -hmm. There we go. Just stir it so it gets incorporated. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Then just a crack of black pepper. Just a crack. Mm hmm. And some parsley. And some cumin. Cumin, as they call it. Cumin. Cumin works very well with potatoes. And it smells awesome as well. Mm -hmm. And these are not the cumin for is a natural spice. It's, it's um the seed of a plant. Right, and so you can get it as the seed or you can get it in the pulverized form. And then finally, I'm going to go ahead and add the cheese. So this is, okay, might have sealed this too tightly. Okay. So this is our spicy cashew cheese, guys. I, I did this one a little bit um, more spicy than normal because it's for our personal purpose. But you can see here, that's how the jar looks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some to this. That's a lot of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's. Let me just check. And the redness of the cheese, guys, that's from um cayenne pepper. pepper. Right. All along with that. Um, where do I see that? 
I don't know. 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, cool. So just about there, almost finished now. Mm -hmm. All right, let me just taste this. So that's something you want to do when you're in the kitchen. You want to taste whatever you're cooking at every stage. So let me see. Taste and adjust seasonings. A lot more cheese. So I'm just going to use everything. Let's seem like the whole jar, then. Yeah, just going to use the whole jar. Make it cheese. And it's as cheesy as you want it. Right. And if you wanted to stop here and just make it a regular mashed potato, you can do that as well. See, we already showed you how to make a mashed potato extra creamy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, it have that nice orange color. As I said, that's because of the cheese and the cayenne pepper is what gives the cheese its color. And cayenne pepper is very good for you. Oh, there are more comments. My bad. Oh, there are? Um, mm -hmm. stir fry quinoa. Yeah, definitely going to stir fry <coughs> quinoa for you guys one of these days. Gonna show you how to cook quinoa properly. Mm, okay, some persons were commenting on your knife skills. <laughs> what were they saying? Uh, mine your finger. <laughs> Chefings. Mm. Yeah, man, this is perfect now. Wow. Very cheesy. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right, so let me go ahead and sprinkle some of this um, spring onion greens over it. As we in Jamaica call it scallion, but you know, we have to go on fancy. So I'm going to call it spring onion, you know. Cayenne pepper is very good. Um, wellness interior designs. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, does. It's very creamy. It's the um, strainer method that makes it so soft and smooth. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Yeah. Right? That's just amazing. And of course, my wife, I got to eat off all that, you know. So, uh, no. you know, as soon as the camera turn off, she'll just grab the plate, the pot, and run. <laughs> so she's gone. All right. So that's, that's finished. So I'll just turn that off. And then I'll just finish up the chickpea tofu, mm -hmm. tikka masala. All right. Seems like quinoa is, is winning. Yeah, man. Because I think... A lot of people still don't know how to cook it so that it's tasty. Right. Which is a comment we hear a lot when we do our food in our kitchen. Yeah. A lot of people say the first time they've, they've had quinoa and it's, it's cooked right, you know. See, I've, I've practiced cooking quinoa for a while. So, like, a while. I never got it right the first time. <laughs> a while. It's been a while coming, yeah, man. Does, and does, I, I never does, have anybody to guide me and show me how to do it. Huh? He's asking for the pot. <laughs> Yeah, but I'll fight my wife for that. After we share out. Okay. Alright, so um, I'm just, just going to add the tikka masala. As I say, I'm going to include a, a recipe for the tikka masala sauce under the video. Tikka masala is an Indian style curry. If you're thinking gastronomically, um, you know, curry and cheese and whatever, no. Because remember, it's not actually a cheese. It's just made from cashew. And um, Indians put cashew in their curries a lot. So that's it. It's about a cup of sauce. I'm gonna add some coconut milk to this now. I don't think I'll add all of this. Okay, I'll just add all of it. And then I'll add some bit, some um, curry leaves. And curry leaves are amazing. They add like amazing flavor to your food, guys. And there are no curry trees in Jamaica. Well, not that I know there of. Aren't. There aren't. I don't know. Maybe not that I know <laughs> of still. Let me not say what I don't know. But I know that India, India is like the place where they mainly come from. So that's our tikka masala here. Curry for the God. Amen. So again, it's a tomato based curry. Indian style. Let's add some more curly leaves to this. Loving the look so far. Thank, Thank you. you. Alright. Um, we bought it at Proactive. Yeah, Proactive Lifestyle. Let's sell curry leaves. Um, show me the bottle. So you can see it there. It's yeah, very it comes in a bottle up. like this. Mm, it's about what, $50? No, $110. $110 for this. And it lasts a, a little while because you don't have to use a lot to yeah, get no. the flavor out of it. So I'm just going to add a little <coughs> bit of salt to this. So let's say you taste your thing and it's up to you how you want it to taste. 
um, my tikka masala sauce is a bit peppery not too peppery for us but I will do a version that's the recipe will be less peppery don't worry the recipe that I include um, we'll dip some toast bread and eat it in the curry? The curry, the matter. Okay. Yeah, man, because um, Indians use a lot of bread with them curries a lot of the time. Thank you, That's Yanova. One of the best things. Yanova 7. I tell is vital. Keep up the good work. Willing respect, to support respect, you guys. <laughs> Larisha, you yeah, said that from about last year, you know. Oh, well, Larisha, she has come. She has come for dinner. Mm. We'll believe it when we see you. <laughs> That's what I see you before we believe that. You're welcome, Dina. Oh, Dina, sir. She did ask for the curry leaves. Okay. All right, let me taste this now and see where we are. Let me turn this down. I yeah, want man. the spicy tikka recipe. All right, so this is ready. All right, so I'll, I'll include the recipe. Just, just judge for yourself what is if the it's spice too level. Right, It'll be too spicy or whatever. So you can just like half it if you. Well, I'll include the instructions. Don't worry. All right, so on um, the tikka masala, the um, chickpea tofu. Chickpea tofu. Right, and then so it's finished. So I just turn this off. You don't need to cook the chickpea tofu anymore. And then I just throw it in there, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And I just stir it to coat it. Will you be doing a cookbook? Um, you know we already have a cookbook out. That was a um basic vegan recipes cookbook out. Oh sh. Just show you how to um you know cook some basic things. But um, we'll be doing a more exciting cookbook. So mm -hmm. it'll be like... Um, Things like these. Yeah. Like a whole lot of stuff. It, it's, it's definitely going to be amazing. Alright, so that's, that's it. So that's finished. Um, yeah. So that's it, guys. I guess maybe you want to see us taste it. Sure. Yeah, sure. Alright, so let me just share with a little bit on a, a small plate. You want the white plate from underneath? <laughs> So I get a little bit of mashed potatoes and some chickpea tofu, tikka masala, and I'm gonna give my sous chef the taste. You taste it. Okay, fine. I'll taste it. I'm gonna say hot. Yeah, me know. I cool it. Yeah, man. Like. As I say, you that normally think say mashed potatoes and cheese with curry that now work out. Well, as I say, it's not a, it's not actually a cheese. It's made from cashew, and mm -hmm. cashew goes well with curries. Ask the Indians. Mm. As he does says, I'ma grab my bowl. As Amazing. Well. You know what? Uh, if I if I was to add anything, I'd add some some peas to the mashed mm -hmm. potatoes. You know, just so that that crunch, a little bit of crunch, right? But. Amazing. Come in with my plate. <laughs> A killer. There you go. <laughs> Come here. Mm hmm. It's amazing. Yeah, it's man. a good combo for you. It is a very good combo. You have my wife to thank for that because I was <laughs> suggesting uh, sweet and sour sauce. Yeah. And she said, no, do the tikka masala. So I'm happy that I stuck with that. Mm. This is very good. Okay, so <laughs> my mouth you know, is watering. Scenes, <laughs> behind the scenes, mega eat up everything, you know. So, yeah, man, as I said, the curry leaves are edible. It's curry leaf, so I just eat one. Edible. All right. Whew, and it's very spicy. That's uh, nice. I love that spicy kick. Oceans want some of your food. Mm. Listen, if you were nearby, we would have share our food with you. Like, we, we're not. We're very kind people. Yeah, our neighbors love us. Yeah, our neighbors love us. Cause a lot of times when we're making new things, they get to the sample it. Come on, I made us set myself to some mashed potatoes. All right, so um, so we're finished cooking. So again, if you have any questions, any more questions before we go, what I'm going how long now we do? Check back. Um, 39 minutes. Alright, 39. So we can go up to maybe like 45, maybe. So if you have any questions, we can answer them. Any more questions? Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'll just pretend I am your neighbor. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. <laughs> mm. 
when Kayla is moving. Uh-huh. Listen, only we only have like two spots, so <laughs> I will need, but we have to move first. Mm. 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 Yeah, man. Okay, guys. So th- is that it? Are there any other questions? You check the thing again to see if you miss any question. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more. Okay. <laughs> I'll wrap it up. Yeah, just a lot of people wanting to move next okay. door. <laughs> All right. Now, when we buy we we um huge you know place with the acres, everybody can come to sleep on the <laughs> land, you know. Yeah. Man. You're welcome. Um, uh, wellness interior designs. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Mm-hmm. Um, again, as I said, I think we'll do this every Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll let you know what the schedule is, okay. and of course, I think the next thing we'll be doing is quinoa with yeah, something yeah, else. We'll surprise you. Um. So the, someone is asking, have you thought about a YouTube channel? Yeah, man, definitely. Definitely I've thought about it. It's in that um, percolating process. You know, that, that <laughs> step before it comes out into the physical. It's already there in the ether, you know. So it's coming, man. It's coming. Guys, see, we do this. I mean, um, these videos can be put on YouTube, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. When are you going to deliver to Kingston? Um, so we already have stuff that they will, we deliver to Kingston. We have a menu that we created so that we could send stuff to Kingston. It's called our personal, personal. pan menu. If you take a look at our Instagram page, you'll see we have a post about that with um, some items in the little aluminum pans. You know, them do the cake in, but it's, ours is like the rectangular ones. And we do, we do fruit cake as well. But those, we send them to Kingston all the way. We send to Kingston, Ocho Rios, Negril, and they get their, um, you know, when the people get it, it's good still because it's it's same day delivery. Not where it delivers it same day. Mm-hmm. So normally, like Kingston gets it by maybe two thirty, and um, Negril Ochi by about midday or so. So yeah, man. So and we it, we make the stuff on the day too. So it's not no <coughs> day before thing. Everything, all our products, we make them on the day. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's always done fresh. So it's like maybe a few hours and then you get it. So it depends. I mean, you, you can look at our menu, decide what, what there is that you would maybe, you know, as I can say, take a chance with to order. But as I say, people order stuff from, from us all the time, from Kingston, and it gets there in, in very good condition. We have a lady who orders tikka masala, chickpea tofu tikka masala from us, and it, it gets store well when she's in Kingston. Yeah, any more questions? Is that guys? it? We have what? How long now? Two more minutes. Alright, we have two more minutes. I just feel like you want to go eat the food still. No, man, it's alright. <laughs> two more minutes. Two more minutes, not kill me. I would love to go eat the food, but you know, let's talk to some customers first. Or extended family. So how is everybody's Sunday going and right. second day of spring and And what are you eating today? Yeah. You can let us know, let us know what you're having, you know. Um kid friendly foods, yes, we have that in the works as well. What is that? Will you be making kid friendly foods? Oh, I thought that was the name of a channel. Okay. No. Kid friendly <laughs> foods. Okay. Um yeah man, of course, of course. We 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 spoken about that, you know. Can't leave yeah. all the kids, you know. And a lot of the times, um, that's a deterrent, you know, the fact that they don't, can't find anything that kids will love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we plan to do some kid-friendly foods too. Yeah. And then I have my nephew as tester. Right. But he's had a lo- so, uh, yeah, a lot of our dishes and he and enjoys he them. Everything. So. Yeah, and we have customers who tell us that their children love the stuff, you know. They love it. Mm-hmm. People who even, um, they're non-vegan and the kids try the stuff and they love it. Because the idea for us is, um, you know, we want to show people that good food can taste good. Yeah. I know that there's, there's a misconception out there that it, uh, <clears throat> from it's healthy, it have a taste bad, you know. And it's just about seasoning. So we season with things proper. Yeah. You know Thank you, Dina and Delzy Del. I enjoyed say? it. And mine is great now that I'm watching you all. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Happy that we could send you some love, guys. One minute. One minute left. All right, so um, one minute left. <laughs> we'll be leaving shortly. I mean, we'll be here, you know. So if you want to reach out and 
Do you have any, you know, we always open to answer, uh, answer any of your questions. So do you not, don't even have to ask anything on this forum. You can just message us one away and we'll answer mm-hmm. your questions the same way. And we'll be back, of course. Yeah, man, I remember we're on WhatsApp too. Um, our WhatsApp is 559-7991. So you can always message us or call us to, you know, we're, we're open, man. You know, just reach out to us if you have any questions or whatever, you know. Any um, advice for persons who want to transition to veganism? transitioning to veganism um i mean i know the challenge is that you you know you have this you have this um <coughs> this taste that you're used to you know and so if you're transitioning i mean have you is it someone who's had our food before no right Marisha, no. okay and what is your have you have you already like had vegan food what's your experience with it okay mm-hmm. i'd have to find that out you know but just generally what the general problem is is just a taste because we transitioned to veganism and the taste was a big issue for me personally like at first i thought that it had to be like kalaloo aki or whatever and that's what i was eating for a while was kalaloo aki i never have no taste either because you know i was not using salt i never know about pink salt or there's even a salt named celtic salt you know and so um I didn't know seasonings because I thought that MSG was not MSG. Um, what name the Maggi season up or whatever with that one full of MSG and so I thought that was the only thing that you could use to add flavor to your stuff. Mm-hmm. And now, like our spice cabinet is full. It's, there, there's so many spices out there, you know. Um, so when I transitioned, it was challenging because of what I what I knew. I was limited by that, and then as I expanded, it was easier. So I'd say try our food, you know. Um, I'd also say. Let me see. I mean, there there are definitely things on the menu that you would, you will enjoy. You know, I mean, maybe some things. It, it there are a few things that maybe you want a more um, I guess expansive palette because um the palette is is key. You know, you know, like if you realize different people wherever they grow up, they love the food there. You know, and maybe if you go there, we used to this food, you won't like it. So sure, the palette is really something that you can reset. You know. Um, well, give our food a try. If you had, if you've had vegan vegan food before, you haven't enjoyed it. Give our food a try. Um, and I guess the best, most, most um safe advice is to you know just like don't just you know for throw everything away at once. You know you can just um just remove something and replace it with something else. You know, mm-hmm. so maybe try some plant based milks <coughs> instead of cow's milk. You know, or maybe add quinoa instead of rice you know what I said? so just just try for, um to do less of the stuff that you already do and the more do add some stuff as you go along maybe like remove a meat so this week this week you stop eat chicken or maybe chicken is the last to go for a lot of people or fish you know mm-hmm. so you just just um just flow with it you don't have to try for change everything at once right but then i mean we've had customers who've had our food and then they're like all right this is going to be easy because the food is incredible so that's the thing you know so it really is dependent on how far gone your you know your taste buds are right because again (laughs) it's about um refreshing the palate resetting it right but yeah once you taste it you realize you're not really losing anything and then the, the mindset is important too, you know. So it's like, think of it. Think of it that you, what you're gaining instead of what you're losing. Because, yeah, you, you right. use all of these things that your parents used to eat and it's in your heritage and so on, you know. But maybe a deeper heritage and that is, you know, you know, like the, the healthy stuff. Like people used to live off of the land and so forth, you know. Mm-hmm. So, um... I don't think that's that's really quite an argument, but as I said, just um think of it that you're gaining the nutrition, you know, how healthy you'll be when you eat this food and so forth. Like just focus on those things. Yeah, and maybe things. see it as an adventure. Right. Type. Right. So just see it as an adventure too. You know, like record your record your growth, your goals, you know. Yeah. Put set some goals, record them as you go along, you know. So it's not necessarily about like losing if you're if you think you're overweight it's not about losing like everything immediately you know like mm-hmm. if you if you see yourself that like maybe um move from one area move to another area you know just just um, celebrate tiny tiny victories and yeah. so on and of course we're here to help you along so if yeah. you have any if you want to reach out to us any questions that you have that again you might not want to ask here then you can go ahead you're welcome man and you have my number so message me is that Lorisha? yes okay Hi, Lorisha again Hi again, Marisha.
All right, so we're finished. It's yeah. probably 50 now. I've spoken for five minutes on that last question. Mm-hmm. Yes. And of course, we're going to go eat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys for joining. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy. <clears throat> and no